Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Roger Roger Reviews channel, and today we're taking a look at the Stars of Black series, 332nd Ahsoka Clone Trooper from the Clone Wars line. And real quick before I do the uh, overview of the box, I do want to mention real quick that the Ahsoka figure and this one and another figure I'm going to show you guys in a minute are Walmart exclusives. Just putting that out there because I totally forgot about this lineup. That's how long um, it's been. But yeah, just putting it out there. This is a Walmart exclusive figure. And going over the front of the box, you do get the figure that's included and the accessories. You also get the name of the lineup the character's from and their name down here. And on the side of the box, you have this amazing artwork right here with Ahsoka's clone trooper. And like I mentioned before, By adding more figures in the same line, you can create a mural. So here's the Ahsoka Clone Trooper alongside the Mandalorian Loyalist. And this is the other figure that I was mentioning that is a Walmart exclusive. And on the back of the box, you get a bigger portrait of the character, a description, the number which it falls into the line, and much little warnings. Here's the side of the box, bottom, and the top. But I'll go ahead and take him out of the box and see what's inside. Here he is, I'll get out of plastic. And here he's out of the box. And looking at him up close, he looks incredible. Like, I know every other clone trooper looks exactly the same as far as the armor, but this one here, you can definitely tell the difference just because of like the feel. And man, just the overall look, it just really brings out his character. But I'll go ahead and start from top to bottom. Look at the helmet. It looks amazing, like I was mentioning before. I love this style of trooper. When they introduced this type of trooper in the final season of The Clone Wars, I immediately fell in love with it. Just because of like um, the paint job right here with Ahsoka's uh, tattoos, it honors her character and her return to the series. But it's so cool. I love this because you can see that it's you know, hand-painted, like, you can definitely tell that these troopers hand-painted the helmet, and that really brings out that, um, sort of, you know, small detail, which is really cool, but yeah, overall, it is your typical phase two helmet, um, it looks very nice overall, black visor, and then, of course, that nice, clean white color going throughout the main part of the helmet, and he does have a joint here at the neck as well as top of the head so you get some movement here side to side back and forward and real quick he does have an unpainted head to help with the articulation so that's good to know look at the torso he has the 501st um color scheme going throughout the other parts of his armor uh, of course you do get that sort of like blue stripe right here and then of course that same blue color scheme going throughout the armor but right here the torso of course you do get a lot of movement um pretty much everything you expect from this trooper but as you can see he has a ball joint and he goes side to side back and forward easily look at the arms the arm does stick out all the way and i like this the shoulder pads are Made of a softer plastic, of course, but they are attached right here to the sort of like, not shoulder sort of area, I guess, almost like the shoulder, but it's not connected within the joint, which I like, because without that, you can move it freely and you're not having to twist around that shoulder pad as much as you would with others. But yeah, the arm moves around pretty nicely, uh, has a butterfly joint as well, that makes it even better. Elbow goes up right there, has a swivel at the elbow, and then of course, articulation at the wrist at the hand. The other side as well, arm sticks out right there, goes all the way around with ease, butterfly joint, elbow goes up right there, has a swivel at the elbow, and articulation at the wrist at the hand. Look at the waist, of course they do have that belt, that utility belt that they always wear, has these two little like pouches 
Yeah, it's a grenade that does not come off. Look at the legs. The legs go into a almost like a split position. And he does sort of go into a same position, but you have to like turn his thigh. And the legs do go back right there. And he does have a swivel right here on his thighs. And look at the knee joints. They go back all the way right here, almost in a kneeling position. And finally, looking at the feet, the feet do point down right there, point up all the way right there, and he does have a swivel, so you get some nice articulation. And lastly, we'll be taking a look at the accessories, which are his rifles. Look at the longer rifle, it looks very nice, and of course we have seen this model many times before with uh, some of the other clone troopers. Of course, this having like this scope here on the bottom, the longer barrel, and then the stock here in the back. The same with the smaller rifle. We have seen this model many times before with the uh, clone troopers. Um, of course, it has this grip underneath, longer barrel, this magazine, and this sort of like grayish um, colored grip right here. To equip the larger rifle, it's basically the same thing as before. You just want to turn to the trigger finger just like that. Make sure the grip is firmly in place. And once you got that done, you can then place his hand right here for support. And it looks really cool. And to put on the smaller rifle, same thing. You want to turn to the trigger finger right here. Make sure it's in the grip very tightly. And this one, I believe... Yeah, you can connect it right here in the front of the barrel, and it looks really cool. So as an overview of the figure, honestly, he's got to be one of my favorite clone troopers so far that I reviewed within this lineup. Um, I gotta say as well, Hasbro did an amazing job, like I have said before, with the sort of like paint job, sort of like look to this trooper. I love that amount of detail. Um, the articulation is great. I was expecting this guy to be a little stiff, but overall, it works out. The accessories as well. Um, I do appreciate them giving us choices, um, in case, you know, you were to sort of like army build, you know, you can change out the blasters and it's not the same thing. But, I mean, extra blasters are not a bad accessory. And I'm not sure if this guy is going for the same price that I had paid for him. But I luckily had gotten him and Ahsoka when Walmart was doing their exclusives here. And I'm not sure what the price range is for this guy at the moment. But if you can get your hands on him, definitely worth it. And so I have to do at the end's reviews. I'll show you all how this my figures. Having the box in the back and the figure in the front. But I'm going to leave here and see if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And if it's content you see here on the channel so far, be sure to subscribe. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram page. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you all on the next one.